Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the XWA on YouTube. And this is what happened before our commercial break. What was supposed to have been an Intercontinental Championship match transformed into a four-on-one assault as World's Finest attacked Neo Sawada in what was supposed to have been a championship match between him and Union King. This is what happened during the break. Sawada being carted off by event security on a stretcher and ladies and gentlemen we have Carmella Blackheart backstage with the news on exactly the extent of Sawada's injury. And it looks like Carmella Blackheart is fuming after the actions of World's Finest, and I don't blame her one bit. Coming up next, a special Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match. Introducing some of the fresh new talent that is on the scene in the XWA. And one person who is making a triumphant comeback. First making his way to the ring, one of the debuting superstars this week on the XWA on YouTube. And a man who, well, I really don't have too much information on him. Ladies and gentlemen, this man goes by the name of Jung Suzuki. And obviously, he hails from the East, the president of Japan, don't know exactly where, but he certainly has a, an air of mystery to him coming out here in the all black coat black shades a little unorthodox to say the least compared to the usual crop of Japanese wrestlers that we've seen here in the XWA and in many other promotions looks to be very intense and very how you say uh, determined as he addresses these fans, and, uh, he, he looked ready to go. I'm going to be real interested in seeing what it is that he's capable of doing. The next man making his way in is a guy who you all should be very familiar with right now if you saw our premiere episode on YouTube. Once again, in his second appearance, this is Adrian Aries, and he was very impressive in his debut match against Jesse Rising. As you can see, his appearance looks a little different. He cut the hair and uh, got himself some new ring gear, but I assure you that this man is every bit as intense as he was in his debut match, and you could say that you know exactly what to expect from him. We can't say the same thing for Jung Suzuki so far, but that yet remains to be seen. But in the case of Aries, this guy 
has a tremendous upside. He is pure intensity. And I'm going to say that a whole lot in talking about him because he just seems to exemplify it. Some guys just talk about being intense. Every single thread in this man's body screams that exact word. This man is determined to make a name for himself. And he's already off to a good start. Having won his first match, he's going to be looking to keep that run rolling here. But obviously it's going to be a very difficult task in the environment of a multi-man match. Especially an elimination style match. Where it's not one fall to a finish. He's going to have to have eyes in the back of his head. But at the same time, the other competitors should be wary of what he is capable of. And now, I'm very proud to introduce or reintroduce this man who just recently re-signed with the Extraordinary Wrestling Association, a member of the original roster of the XWA back in the E-Fed era, a man who can simply be called Double XL. And if you can take a look at his massive frame, you see exactly why Xander Xavier Luther goes by that moniker. A mountain of a man. Standing six foot ten, weighing three hundred twenty-six pounds. Double XL was the first ever XWA national champion. A title that has since been retired when it to possibly be making a reinstatement in the XWA. But he has a lot of history within the old era of this company and is looking tonight to carry on that success in the YouTube era of the XWA. Just look at this man, he is huge. And the pyro blows off for the fourth man in this match who, like Suzuki, will be making his first ever appearance in the XWA, in pro wrestling in general. A young man by the name of Axel Marsden. And I can tell you that he is definitely an impressive individual. Very unorthodox, high-flying, really entertaining to watch. And we're still awaiting the arrival to the ringside area of Marsden. His music is still playing, but he's yet to come out. Wait a second, I'm receiving word here. We have a camera backstage and apparently... Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Axel Marsden, but it does not look like he's going to be competing. He is knocked out. I have no idea what happened back there, but Ac Axel Marsden has been incapacitated. And apparently the referee has been ordered to continue the match as planned, so I guess now we have ourselves a triple threat elimination match instead of a fatal four-way match. And ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we receive word on exactly what happened to Marsden backstage, uh, we'll get that information out to you, but back to the action in the ring, the show must go on, I suppose. Uh, inside the ring, Aries and Double XL trading blows, but outside the ring, Jung Suzuki is apparently busy jaw jacking to the fans. He has not actually gotten involved physically in the match yet. As a matter of fact, he's just standing out at ringside watching his two opponents. And you could see right there Double XL turning to Suzuki, wondering what the heck he's doing. You know? Frankly, I'm starting to wonder myself exactly what he's doing. Is he going to compete or is he going to spectate? And meanwhile, beautiful fish drop there by Double XL. Deceptively agile for a man his size. Now, 
Suzuki is uh, reaching into the ring. Was he? He just hung up double XL on the top rope and set up that neck breaker by Aries. Now he appears to decide he wants to get involved in this match, and he sees he's got a good opportunity not to get attacked himself. European uppercut. And now Suzuki asserting himself again. No, now he gets reversed by double XL, but Aries breaks that up and applies an abdominal stretch, but doesn't keep it on too long. Suzuki talking trash in the ring now. What is on his mind? Aries with another submission maneuver from Nelson, but that gets quickly counted. And oh my god, did you see that roundhouse kick by Suzuki from behind? Just, just a cheap shot, really. Adrian Aries never even saw that one come. And now it looks like both Aries and Double XL are focusing their attention on Suzuki, who hits a beautiful springboard plancher right there. Out of nowhere almost. And again, Young Suzuki steps out of the ring, but inside, Double XL with a big time right hand. Wow, that was a devastating shot right there. And a boot right to the shoulder of Adrian Aries. Double XL now. Looked like he was going for some shots right there, but Aries. Oh my goodness. It looked like he was about to go for one of his finishing maneuvers. The final judgment, but Aries breaking up everything that Young Suzuki was trying to throw out here. I think he's just chomping at the bit right now to just get his hands on Suzuki. Quite frankly, I don't blame him one bit for that one because uh, this Suzuki guy seems to be uh, really, really kind of shady. But here we have a double team, double gut buster executed by the team Double XL and Suzuki, who fires back with a beautiful drop kick and gets neck breaker twice by Aries. Yeah, these guys are not having it right now. They definitely want to take Suzuki out of this match. Big time right hand right there by Aries and Suzuki quickly rolls out of the ring again. TKO by double XL and a follow up Back breaker and neck breaker combination by Suzuki. That just set Aries up. And double XL delivering his brand new finisher. He calls it, simply put, the 360. And that's going to be enough to eliminate Adrian Aries. He is out of this match. Thanks in part to some cheap shots by Suzuki, who has not really taken any damage. You wouldn't take too much damage if you're not even in the ring. And Suzuki now driving double XL into the mat with the move he calls the vertigo. Two. And double XL kicks out. And once again, young Suzuki makes a beeline outside of the ring. But Luther is definitely fired up. Blocks that springboard plancha. And a stomp onto the shoulder of Suzuki right there. But Suzuki countering back there. Swinging neck breaker. Shot to the gut by Luther now. And uh, Suzuki whipping. The big man into the corner and delivering a vicious clothesline. Now Double XL seems fired up again. And Suzuki once again stepping out of the ring. Is this questionable strategy? Yes. Now he appears to be jaw jacking to the referee. 
just focused on everything except for the match. Went for another one of those kicks, but double XL outside of the ring with a 360. Right onto that concrete floor. That definitely had to uh, soften up a couple of things in the vertebrae of Jung Suzuki. Stomped now by double XL, but misses that high knee and Suzuki delivers the final judgment he scores on that one in the cover two three young Suzuki wins this contest by some questionable and controversial means as we take a look back at some of the action here neck breaker by Aries he was eliminated But not after putting up a fight, there goes a double team there by Suzuki and Double XL. Aries eliminated after taking a cheap shot from Suzuki and the 360 by Double XL. And then this is the final elimination here. Suzuki quick to capitalize on a missed opportunity by Double XL. And he nails him with this finishing maneuver, the final judgment. And Suzuki, arms raised in victory in his debut match. And you might not like how he won it. Quite frankly, I don't like how he won it. But the records are going to say that he won. Questionable as his uh, strategy is, it was effective. And Suzuki victorious Ladies and gentlemen, Hamid Aziz and Abu Hassan will be in tag team action against mystery opponents, no less. That comes up next.